Hello, my beautiful Scorpios. Welcome to your love and relationship reading. Relationships come in many forms. Doesn't always have to be romantic. And feel free to switch it up, reverse it, flip sides, however it resonates. And it's not going to be everybody's story, but this is for Scorpio, Sun, Rising, Moon, and Venus placements. And while we're at it, please make sure you hit that thumbs up button, subscribe, share, and comment. Hit the notification bell so that you are notified when I upload new videos, when I have giveaways, and when I go live. And also, um, keep in mind that timing is fluid. There is no time limit on this reading. So we are going to go ahead and dig in. I am going to get the energy of your side, your person, and your joint energies and see if this connection has any potential. And if you are single, you know, this could show somebody that's coming towards you, potentially. Okay, so let's go ahead and dig in. And we are going to start by cleansing the space. Be mindful there will be a loud ringing sound. Oh, that was short. Okay, Scorpio. Something short. Um, are you dealing with something that may have been short-lived? That's kind of the impression I got. Something short-lived. Something short-term. Okay, kind of like um, the stepping stone. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, we are going to go ahead and I'm going to shuffle up real quick. My bad, I forgot to actually shuffle before starting this video. There must have been a reason for that. Okay, let's see where this is going. Okay, so Holy Spirit, Angel, Spirits, and Guides, tell me about Scorpio's energy, please. Okay, we do have the Three of Swords. The Tower, Scorpionic, Scorpio energy, and Aries energy. Whoa, this is kind of heavy. Ten of swords, or ten of wands, I'm sorry. And the world card. Scorpio, I have to be honest. You know, it is really hard to create fluff or sugarcoat any of this here. Um, but we're going to see what else is coming up here. Three of Swords is representing a somebody who feels broken, somebody who feels hurt, damaged over something shocking that happened, maybe some kind of revelation, information that had come in over the World Wide Web. You, you know, the internet may be playing a part in this. Maybe one of your Facebook friends or social media followers or some somebody that knows you may have come in revealing something that you may be right now in this energy of feeling down, feeling crushed right now. And it's weighing you down, but I almost feel as though that <clears throat> you're not speaking it at this time. You're kind of just holding back a little bit. The world card is an ending of a cycle. Something coming to a close. So it's a karmic co contract coming to an end. Thank you, Spirit. Okay, tell me about this Three of Swords energy. Thank you. Okay, we have the Sun card. You know, I, it's almost like... Okay, that's illumination. Healing. Healing from a broken heart here. 
Okay, so I think you are entering into a new phase, a new phase of healing here. Okay, there we go. There is the Page of Wands. That is the message that come through. Somebody sent you a message, I think, through the internet, through social media, whatever, that said, okay, this is what's up. This is what's going on. And it, I think it may have cr crushed you. But there is that sun card here, which is representing nourishment and healing. So I feel that you are in a space of nourishing a broken heart, and you are trying to heal that. Tell me about this Ten of Wands, please. Okay, we do have the Magician. This is somebody who is taking action, who is proactive. So you're not sitting by and just taking the shit from whomever. I feel as though that you are proactive in taking your, your what you know, your knowledge, and your resources, and you are creating your own happiness. You are healing your own heart here. You're in control. You are taking control, Scorpio. Tell me about the world card, please. Tell me about the world card, please. Thank you. Judgment. Mm. I think that you are doing a judgment call here and trying to you're, you're making a final decision. Um, judgment can be reconciliation, but in this case, I feel it's more about, you know, I said there was this karmic contract. I think there is a karmic contract that is coming to an end, coming to a close. Okay. Uh, uh, it, karmic contracts is when you're involved with a karmic and you had a lesson to learn. Let me see what else comes up here. Okay, you got the ship card. Um, you are expanding. You may be traveling. There's definitely movement here. I think you might be moving on. Now, keep in mind, you can flip sides. Just saying. Okay, we do have the bridges. Okay, what I'm getting here is that you are definitely moving on past this energy and you are burning bridges. Um, it is a deeply emotional situation. You are struggling emotionally with this choice, with this decision here. Because let's face it, when, we ha when we're dealing with a karmic, um, there is some deep emotions. And here we have a man. Okay, man is somebody who's taken action. And he has a rose in his hand, something very romantic. You may be wishing for that romance, for that love, that... Almost like that fairy tale Cinderella type of scenario. You are moving past this other energy. You're burning that bridge. And you're moving towards your hopes, wishes, and dreams. I almost feel this is somebody new. Or with somebody else. Okay, we do have a message of concern. May uh, You know, you might have received that message that came through. may have come from a female that concerned you. But I think you're bur lovers. Yeah. Just kind of what I thought. It's like kind of a message like, you know, your person seeing somebody else. Um, we have official person. And we have pathways. So I kind of get this picture of somebody that might even be a little bit controlling. Um, this could, you know, this could be a workplace also. Doesn't have to be romantic or this could be dealing with family. But there seems like there was, there, I get this energy that you were dealing with a, ma a manipulator. But official person, this could be dealing with an attorney as well. You may get a message from an attorney that is very concerning may not have anything to do with this love and romance. But whatever it is, you have a choice to make. Uh, a choice. You have to make some sort of decision to create change. To change your own love life around. Lovers, and this is a six, 
It is a choice and decision in love. It's also number 15, the number of devil, number of Capricorn energy. So I think that there was somebody very important in your life. Somebody that you made things official with. That may have given into temptation. They chose. And it was their choice. Their decision to do that. They may try to put blame elsewhere. But what it boils down to. It was their choice. Their executive decision. To do what they did. And I think that there is a message of concern. Coming from a feminine energy. Through messaging or through email. That alerts you what's going on. And I think that you are out of there and you're burning that bridge. I think I, it's like this. We're not going around with this again. Okay. Let's move over on to this other side. This person's side. I think you're done. Kind of fine. We got the emperor on this side. Could be dealing with um, an Aries. Okay, we do. Have, we have the emperor. Kind of matches this official person energy. We have the four of swords in the reverse. This is somebody who is over here who is not laying down anymore. This person over here. It almost reminds me of somebody unstable. Okay, we have temperance. This may be your karmic. This may not. This may be the new somebody new coming in. But we have somebody here who is who has gone through a healing process themselves because we do have temperance. Uh, we have somebody here who has exhibit great patience. We have, and you know, I think that they have been wait watching and waiting done a lot of introspection a lot of thinking and contemplating ace of wands a brand new beginning of new passionate beginning and uh, this is a new start i feel that this person over here is not the karmic okay i feel that this person over here is somebody else that is coming into the picture okay tell me about the emperor card this emperor card is somebody, he's acting with integrity. Okay, queen of swords energy. Um, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra energy. Okay, I feel this emperor was dealing with somebody who is very cold towards them. Okay, and I feel that he kind of like, I did not know what he wanted to do about it. I think he did a lot of reflection, a lot of thinking and contemplating, maybe even some meditation. Uh, he might have been doing some healing work. Uh, but he's done resting. You know, he, he he's done resting. He's picking himself up. Okay? Um, he's been very patient. And he's ready to create. Sometimes Temperance Card is the alchemist. You know, somebody who creates something, combining things. Uh, for This is going to be very specific. Somebody might be dealing with somebody that deals with science, chemistry, or something like that. Uh, if that, if you are, this there is definitely something in this reading for you. But there's an even flow of energy. It's like... Both of your energies, yours and this emperor's energies, just kind of mesh and mix wonderfully. There is this combination of compassion and passion. Okay. Um, tell me about this Four of Swords, please. Tell me about the Four of Swords. Tell me about the Four of Swords, please. Thank you. Okay, Ace of Cups in the reverse. So, yeah, this person was healing from a broken relationship as well. So, you both are kind of coming out of the same type of mindset, space. You know, you're, 
in the process of ending a karmic connection. This person over here, I think, has already done so. They were in a connection that went south, and they went through their healing process, and they're ready to pick themselves up and try again. They are in a mindset that they are ready for a passionate beginning. Tell me about temperance, please. Tell me about temperance. Okay, we have the King of Wands. Uh, more fire energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. This is, he's very passionate. And he's v very confident. And the King of Wands takes action and very fast. And he knows what he wants. He knows exact. He is very, very clear on what he wants. And he's holding that Ace of Wands in his hand. And he's offering it to you. He's offering a new beginning, something that has the potential to grow. Okay, we do have the Devil card here. And I'm feeling like... With the Devil card, that's Capricorn Energy. He's a temptation to you. Because he's very passionate, very fiery, very enthusiastic ambitious you know full a, a ball of energy is what this person is over here and he's very alluring he's very tempting i think there is a very strong physical connection a physical attraction here and i say he's a temptation because you're in the process of trying to close out this karmic cycle but I get the sense that you are you may still be in it. We, I might dig a little bit further over on this side. But I feel that this cycle with this person, with your karmic, has not come to a full close yet. You're making the choice to do so, but this person may be playing a part in it. Okay. I want to know, I, I got to draw another card on this devil card. I really do. Nine of Swords. A lot of anxiety. You might, I mean, this is somebody that, you know, might keep you awake at night. This might be some, are there text messages going on between you and this person late at night? Uh, I don't know, that just came to me. Um, we do have the Nine of Cups and the Ten of Cups. This is, so, and the Three of Pentacles. This is somebody who wants to put the work and effort in. They want to work on a connection with you. They want the Ten of Cups. They're coming to you to offer you their heart, offer you their love. Page of Pentacles. They're coming in with an offer. And it could be successful with the Chariot card. And it seems like destiny with the Wheel of Fortune. Okay. Uh, this almost feels like that this was mapped out in heaven. Okay. But there is definitely a concern because you are still connected to somebody else. Okay. Okay, let's start with this card. Okay, we've got the man. So much masculine energy over here. And he looks good. He's wearing the sign of Mars. So that might even be more Aries, Leo, Sagittarius energy. You might be dealing with a fire sign here, Scorpio. This is somebody who, I mean, he's looking down. And he, I mean, he looks good. He's, it's... It's like you're licking your chops at this one. And he's looking at you, Scorpio. It's like he wants you. Clover. Whoa. This is going to start out as a very strong sexual connection here. Bear. Strong luck. Big luck. I tell you what. There, okay, this this is a very getting lucky with this man. Very strong, strong sexual attraction here. Wow. 
book and went, oh, fuck. Hell. Oh, shit, Scorpio. You know what this is saying? There is a lot of stuff going on behind closed doors that is going to be kept. It's like you have to keep this quiet for right now. You can't let this other person know. Now, I'm going to change the story up a little bit because Spirit is showing me something here. For some of you Scorpios, you know, that tower moment could be somebody blowing the lid off of your relationship that's over here to your karmic person. Okay, so that is also a possibility here as part of the scenario that might be the catalyst that ends this karmic relationship that you're not happy in anyhow and they're not happy right but it's like a codependency a karmic connection but it might be the catalyst because we have a man over here and we got a man over here just saying there's two men in this i almost feel like i'm reading for a feminine or a female scorpio feel free to reverse it make these two f women okay i'm just saying but but maybe women with masculine qualities. But what I'm seeing here is this magnet, this sexual attraction here is so strong, like it's unresistible. Okay, and you have to keep you're keeping it under wraps for right now. Um, I'm not seeing another connection for this person, but I am seeing it for you because I feel like this person is becoming a third party in this whole scenario but i don't think it's going to be a third party for very long okay because you are making the judgment call to end a karmic cycle um yes it could be your karmic that makes that decision because they find out that you're having some fun between the cheeks with somebody else okay imprisonment and mature man Okay, all this masculine energy. And what I feel that this is, is you, f you, it's like feeling imprisoned by another man. So this person here feels like, a, you know, they kind of feel stuck. They want to give you their cup. And they want this passionate beginning, but they almost feel like you are tied to somebody else and they're kind of doubtful whether you're going to break free or not even though your side says it is coming to a close going to leave you free and open I almost feel that this person wants more than just a sexual connection with you yeah you are you dominate his thoughts Somebody has the hots for ya. Journey. They're looking for a new journey with you to go the distance. Trains, when you think about train rides, typically a train ride, they're, they're going from city to city. They're long distances in most cases. And... This is a tent number 10, the Wheel of Fortune. You know, they feel that they, they want to get on this train of destiny. They feel that you are their destiny. Um, wealthy. He's definitely concerned about the other person, though. But he feels that you are... Um, he feels like he won the jackpot with you. And it's not because of money. Bad health, but he knows that you are not in a good place. But he wants to offer you the world. But you could, but you got to make that decision. You are his main squeeze. He sees marriage with you. Okay? He wants to spoil you. Just saying. Okay, let's go ahead and get your joint energies here. Or, or see what's going on. See, potential outcome. Because I there are definitely three people involved in this. Okay. 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 Ok
okay? Okay, more Leo energy, the strength card, and the nine of cups. So this is very strongly a wish, a strong wish being fulfilled, okay? I think that you are everything he wants, and he's convinced of that. King of Swords. Okay, so this is being decisive. This is making the decision. So I feel that this is... You need to be have that confidence and that courage to make the decision for love. Four of pen, the four of wands here, because you have somebody that wants to offer you stability. And somebody wants marriage. Four of cups. They're br bringing you this offer. You, and you have a choice of whether you're going to accept it or if you're going to stay where you're at. The star card being divinely guided. Wish, fulfill, wish fulfillment is all over this. It's like this man over here is everything you ever wanted. This karmic was something that I think you thought that you wanted. But did not turn out the way that you thought it would. And you have somebody else over here that's all fired up. They got the hots for you. And they want you. Okay, but you gotta leave that karmic. Okay. Okay, so you got a man. At first, I'm only gonna tell you what that, what that reminded me of. I'll leave that up to your imagination. But this is the torch. Spiritual development, enlightenment, awareness, and understanding. There's definitely a spiritual connection between the two of you. And he carries a torch for you. Horseshoe. Good luck. Um, happiness. Damn, Scorpio. This is a fucking good reading. So, you know, you feeling this heartbreak and this pain and this betrayal and everything blowing up. Let me tell you, Scorpio, it's blowing up for a reason because the universe has something better. Wow. You know, this, this is the kind of reading I want, Scorpio. I'm jealous. Look at the bigger picture. So the universe is definitely telling you, you need to take a look at the bigger picture of, thing, of things. Look at the larger scheme. Look at the total future here. Uh, look at where you're at. Are you truly happy? The cards say no. They want this one. And they want this one. Okay. Healing. There you fucking go. Okay, this is healing. And this is contentment. So this is about healing yourself, healing your heart, and content and being totally happy. You got total contentment and happiness coming here. I love this reading for you, Scorpio. It's nice to get a really upbeat reading for Scorpio sometimes. You know, Scorpio, you guys get a bad rap at times. And some of the readings are you know, it's like, you look at the cards, it's like, I don't want to give this reading. This one, oh my gosh. I mean, it started out as one of them readings. I'm looking at these cards and I'm thinking, fuck me. You know, um, people are going to click off this video when they see what this message is. But you know what? This, uh, it, it's taking a look at the bigger picture. And I mean, this is, this is hot. Resolve. This is resolving those inner conflicts. Light worker. Using your gifts. So, okay, somebody is the answer to your prayers and they are coming into your life to light up your life, to help you heal, to help you move forward. A hero. Got masculine energy all over this. Uh, Lady Autumn, she is kind of like Empress type energy. Uh, she she gives birth. She this, But this is her... This is once the empress plants her seeds, and this is the harvest here. Okay? 
this is you reaping what you sow, reaping the rewards. You've got your knight in shining armor. It's going to be knocking on your door, okay, if he hasn't already. For some of you, I think he's already there and has been. Okay, past life relationship, the past relationship. It's like I said there was a spiritual connection here. We had that torch card. I think that this is somebody from a past life. Finances and career. Um, you could meet this person through work. Wedding. Damn it. Yeah, this person over here. They definitely have romantic feelings. They're saying to give that relationship a chance and to release the ex. Okay. There you have it, Scorpio. I hope you found this helpful and useful. And, yeah, you've got some really hot times coming up for you. I love you all. And until next time, blessed be. I don't kick my camera around, right?